game here, very simple. We got a very simple practice we're about to do. We want to unlock the redacted version of every character. So, let's try to do the redacted path with some of the redacted characters so that we can get a redacted uh, ending. And after we do the redacted ending, we'll unlock the redacted character. And I think the best way to start this is definitely to start uh, with Eden. Why not? Why not? Da -da -da -da. We start with one thing. Don't know why. It does even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind when you decide how hard to try. Exactly. 2 HP though, I'm, I'm not super... I'm not super stoked. So I do have one question to ask about Redacted, by the way. Uh, sissy. When you go to Redacted, you need to sleep in Redacted in order to get Redacted? Or do you just have to leave a Redacted behind in a Redacted in order to get it? Leave the thing in the thing. Okay. And do we leave it in the item thing or in the boss thing? Look, I'm trying not to spoil anything, okay? I don't know what Birthright does with Eden. We're not going to get the money either way. Oh, uh, Jay, you, you, got, you got swept away, man. You got swept away. What it is? Jay knows. Jay derived this himself. Jay is like Walter White, and I'm like, uh... Gil. I'm just, I'm following in his footsteps. I'm like, Jay, you got a beautiful recipe. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to copy it, and as long as I keep my boss, uh, Gustavo Fring, happy, then I, I've got nothing to worry about. He's definitely not gonna... Oh, hold on, there's a knock on my door. That's right, Gale, Gale, not, uh, not Gil, my mistake. Okay, we're not gonna go to that room just yet. <sighs> okay, okay, yeah, of course we're taking this. Don't make me laugh. Spoiled uh, Breaking Bad. Look, Gale is a very minor part of Breaking Bad. Plus, like, if you know anything about the show, you already know that as soon as you see him, he's destined for uh, great things. Exactly. What's the first grade on the redacted character? I actually don't know. I, I mean, I, we, we gotta, in order to get the textbook, we have to unlock them. You do already know the vibe, yes sir. It's a tears upgrade. You'd love to see it. Now, there's no reason, like, we have to, uh, go to the alt path. But it does give us the chance to get an extra item on the... I mean, we get better item rooms, and we get, uh, better... We get a chance to get a second boss item on the mirror floor, so I'm gonna give it a try. And now, what are your thoughts on Super Tramp? Um... I don't dislike the songs where they sing in the funny voice. I got a guy and got got good good do do. Like I think those are pretty catchy. What a, what a shot! But songs like Goodbye Stranger, where the guy uses his normal voice, are actually like ten out of ten. How do you think Aaron Rodgers did on night one? Jay, I gotta ask. What the hell you're talking about, my man? I don't know. What, I know who Aaron Rodgers is. I don't know what anything else. Uh, I don't know anything else about what you're talking about, to be honest. On Jep. Oh, Aaron Rodgers was hosting last night. Oh, uh, dude, let me tell you something. And I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir on this one. Couldn't be any worse than Doctor Oz, dude. Like, I didn't think it was possible for someone to be like that much of a charisma black hole, but. Like, on top of spreading, like, you know, anti-science disinformation, like, on top of that, he's just also, like, not very good of a host. <laughs> Sorry to say. Um, okay. We got brown heart or question mark. Brown heart, I don't think is too bad, but I'm a, uh... I'm a right side man here. Vroom! Okay, I, sadly, I think we still go Pandora's box. I think Dirty Mind is not so bad. But, <laughs> if you'll excuse me, 
I wish I had picked up Dirty Mind last room. I'd sure love to have that Dirty Mind right now. Oh. We, we hit a couple notes in there. Mozart's been real quiet since the new Steely Dan Isaac cover just dropped. Confirmed. Did contain notes. Okay, we're probably... I should not have taken the alt pass. Surprise, surprise. Secondarily, I think... We must accept at some point we may have to Pandora's box out of self-interest, but we'll we'll see. What oh no, he's excited and he just can't hide it, dude. What the heck? Just poison him! I wish not to use my bomb. <laughs> oh, let's go, let's go. Tears up. Um <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I don't want to use Pandora's box. On the other hand, it does give us spirit hearts. I mean, I just got to say it. I'm a madman. Like, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but we did. We succeeded in something. Uh, and that, that something was belief. That's what's known as a high testosterone play. I, you're gonna laugh. I actually think that it was kind of worth it, as long as we don't die on this floor. We're leaving Dim Bulb behind for redacted purposes. I wouldn't concern yourself with that at the moment. Unless, it, all I'm gonna say is if you know, then you know. Okay, we, we te a test was, was made here. It's very simple. You come in here now. You get a red chest. It has some pills in it. You get a health upgrade. You get a shot speed upgrade. You cherry it out so you don't die. You go back to the boss room, you pick up a red heart, and all of a sudden you're kind of like, you're good to go. I'm telling you, he's, he's an amazing gamer. You could take it all the way to the mausoleum, though. Yeah, but then, like, the odds are... Like, I, it's it's the kind of thing, like... Basically, you're telling me, like, not to do a chore when I have the, the mental preparedness for it. Oh, appreciate that. Snooze. Much appreciated. Happy to... Happy to be able to provide some second monitor content to the people, you know, doing the real jobs and keeping the economy going right now. Like, uh, I, I, I'm taking it. Whatever. Who cares? Watch this. <laughs> I'm invincible. Um, but, like, I, uh, I want to leave the trinket behind early, and maybe we'll leave it behind often as well. Because, like, I don't want to create a situation where, like, later I'm bantering about, like, how square pizza slices are underrated, and then all of a sudden, like, I get, uh, I get distracted and I don't leave the trinket behind where I'm supposed to. You know what I mean? Twitch streamers are the backbones of the economy. You know, I used to believe that, but but some of them aren't even out there like paying their electric bills. If you're not if you're not paying utilities, like, come on. You, you got to step. You got to put on auto pay or something like that. What's your take on square pizza? So I I'm look. I know I'm getting baited here, but I'm okay with it because it's a self bait. Um, I do like. Uh, around who doesn't love around pizza, right? But I'm kind of like from memory because it's been a long time. I think Detroit pizza is highly underrated. It's the only kind of pizza that gives you a corner slice, and when the edges get uh, get crispy, like that's a beautiful slice. A, a circle pizza can't give you that. Now I'm not. Sometimes you get a square pizza and they're just cooking it like in a sous vide or something, and then sending it out to Sodexo to you know, make up school lunches. That's not really what I support. That's a bad pizza. A pizza with literally zero crisp is, is something I don't want a part of. But a, a crispy, like, Detroit-style pizza, and the, the pepperoni becomes little grease cups, now we're talking. Jay, you're not wrong now that I think about it. How messed up is it that pizza's a circular food with triangular slices that's served in a, uh, in a square box? 
Did you know I, I watched, because, uh, like, I'm 100 years old, so what do I watch on YouTube? When I'm all done reading about, like, you know, uh, Boeing is going to, like, possibly cut their dividend, um, I watch uh, this show on CNBC called Make It. It's on their YouTube channel. And it's basically just profiles of, like, American businesses you're probably familiar with. They did an episode on Domino's, and I was like, man, Domino's is crazy. When I was a kid, it was the worst pizza you could buy. Then they did their, like, you know, campaign where they're like, we're going to use real ingredients. And now they're pretty good. Now they they got, like, they got patents. Right now to, like, get self-driving cars that have a pizza oven in the car. And then you just put the uncooked pizza in the car. It drives to the delivery and cooks the pizza while it's driving. That's so scary. <laughs> It is, no, don't get me wrong, it's also like really sick, but I don't know if you should be having like a, you know, like an oven on the road. Like, especially without any kind of supervision in the vehicle, like. No, like, so I guess the way that it works or it's supposed to is like when it arrives at your house. You, it has like a QR scanner or something, is the idea. And you would like enter your code or scan your, your code from the phone, and then it would just open up a little slot and you would take out the boxed pizza. I guess that's a good point. Like, how much worse could it be than just an internal combustion engine? I didn't really think about it that way, but that's a good point. When you have brownies, do you like the corner piece? Yeah, I, I like pretty much any food that has edges. I always like the ones with the most edges and the least interior space. I'm, I'm, an, I'm a corner first, then edge, then inside piece. But I'm glad... Oh, hello. I'm glad there's, uh, there's differences of opinion. I don't think... I mean, I think if I had to guess, edges and corners are probably the most common to begin with, but... Um, I do think it uh, it leads to like an equilibrium, right? Where hopefully we can everybody can get more or less what they're looking for. Corner pieces, frick yeah, Monday, baby. I mean, the inside piece. Don't get me wrong, I still eat it, right? But like, it, it's not at the top of the the power rankings. I can't believe, like, we're still doing well here. Okay, I think at this point we'll probably not continue with the alt path, because the only reason I did it in the first place was hubris. And we will also not take the, uh... Oh, what, what a... That's just embarrassing right there. I also... Oh, okay, well, uh, you know... <laughs> I also think we will not even get the knife. I think we're going to go main path again. Oh, we got momentum here. Hot sauce ranch or extra marinara? That's a really tough choice, you know? I, uh... Here's what I'll say. I used... Pizza Hut used to have... Uh, bread stick crust that you could twist off. And then you could dip it in the marinara sauce. They provided, like, a cup of marinara sauce on the side. I ate so much of that pizza between the ages of about 11 and 14 that... Like, I think I ruined it for myself. Every, that was the... It became the default pizza everybody fell in love with up here, at least. Um, okay. You know what? We should go to the shop. We got a dime there. But I gotta say, like, for... For crust dippability... I always put a little Frank's Red Hot Sauce on the, on the top of the pizza, but I would rather have no hot sauce on the top of the pizza and then dip the... Uh, the crust in in either a ranch or a, or a marinara. I think that's that's my two cents. I value the crust dip more than I value the hot sauce, but I, I do want both. I also want the the crappy like fake parmesan, and I want the chili flakes. Like if I go to to a pizza place and they don't have fake parmesan and and chili flakes on the table, I'm like. This isn't legit. I want them all. 
Also, it, it needs to have a, a mayonnaise smiley face on it and the letters PAPA. Otherwise, I won't even consider eating it. I mean, real Parmesan, sure, but like, you know, I'm not out here trying to pay like, you know, seven bucks a slice just so they can finance the real Parmigiano Reggiano. Like, I'm, I'm okay with the fake stuff in a, in a buy the slice place. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I need a little of the sawdust. I will say, because people are probably, uh, you know, they keep asking me every day. Um, I did use the air fryer last night. One of our Hello Freshes was like a, a breaded turkey scallopini with potato wedges. And I, as soon as I saw that it was like cut the potatoes into wedges, I was like, we're using the air fryer for this. And it, it turned out beautifully. Using the air fryer? You little shat. Uh, I was using the air fryer. <laughs> it's pretty good. But I, I, I will admit, so it also had uh, broccoli. And I was like, oh, I want to do the broccoli in the air fryer. Ooh, I do like this. But then it also had that turkey scallopini that was, you know, it's breaded, right? So I was like, oh, I got to do that in the air fryer. But the air fryer is not large enough in order to fit all these foods. You know, it would take me like two hours in order to be able to make everything in the air fryer. So I did use the oven for the turkey and for the, the broccoli, but for the wedges, it went very well. I'm telling you, I'm like, we, I'm probably not. Cause like, here's the deal, right? I want to use the air fryer because it's convenient. But in order to get maximum convenient, I would need to rip out my oven, buy another oven that's a, just a large air fryer, and then reinstall it, which is very inconvenient. So in order to get convenience, I have to be like markedly inconvenienced first. So I'm probably never going to do it, but I totally understand why people buy those like, you know, air fryer ranges and stuff. I get it 100%. But I'm, I'm fully a believer. Then, like, another another recipe we have for the air fryer, not for the air fryer, but from HelloFresh is, like, yeah, I'll do it. Shrimp and, and pesto uh, flatbread pizza. And I'm like, you know that's going in the air fryer. 100%. Well, you think I'm just going to put that stuff under the broiler? Are you insane? Yeah, we also got a great one, chicken and banana, served alongside prawns in a chocolate sauce. I'm pretty stoked for that. Hey, can you shout out my stream? Hello, Mouth. Hello. It's no problem, by the way, that you, you're you not streaming today, so you couldn't raid me. Like, I thought we had kind of an understanding, but... I mean, I guess, like, you had important things to do or whatever, but it's still just kind of... I Like, I, I walked out as he was paying out. Oh, that's what I deserve. I deserve it for the BM. <clears throat> what do you give this stream on the mouth scale? I mean, honestly, we're, we're at, like, a minimum 7.5 out of 10 on the stream so far. The energy's good. The games we played with Dan were fun. And we're, we're having an, an interesting run here. It's going to take us 12 years to accomplish anything because we have no uh, damage, but that's fine. On the mouth scale? Well, what's a 7.5 on the mouth scale? I think it's L, right? Live, laugh, love? Or li laughable, lovable? F is fun. I'll settle for an F. Mouth, did you watch Bad Trip yet? It, I think it should be required viewing for you and Sips before we play Rainbow Six. I, I think, I don't, like, I I don't know Sips as well as I would like. What does what Bilbo say? And, and I know twice as many of you half as much as I wish that I did. Like some, I know too many of you half as much as I wish that I didn't. And I'm like, what the, this guy, he's, a, he's the real wizard, a wizard of words. But anyway, um, something about talking to Sips and then also watching Bad Trip I feel like he would love it. Anybody here been watching Sips for a long time? Can you can you 
support or reject my hypothesis? Can confirm. He would love it. I thought I don't know. I just I got a I got the vibe from Sips that this was up. Even when I was watching it, I was like, man, Sips has got to see this. Oh, it's not a documentary. He does love the documentaries, though. I wonder if he's because he always talks about those HBO documentaries. I wonder if he saw the the weird pseudo documentary about John DeLorean I was talking about. I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hold on. I think we would like to get uh, the blanket. I feel like this greed is gonna pay out, man. Like, not greed, this judgment. But I do want this. This is such good devil deal tech. Behind the Curve is still a top tier documentary. I always love like documentaries about weird stuff. Like Behind the Curve is a great one. Yeah, take it. Why not? You ever see The Queen of Versailles? That was a, a fantastic movie as well. Documentary. It's about a... Uh, like this unbelievably wealthy couple. Because uh, the husband is like a huge executive. And then... Uh, it all comes crashing down over the course of the documentary. And she has to rebuild her life as like a working class individual it's a great movie great documentary i should say have you seen the death of stalin check this i've seen it two times that's that's how much i like the death of stalin that it was probably my favorite movie of that year that's a great movie i i also i i have indeed seen the theranos documentary that is crazy man for anyone that doesn't know, Theranos was, they, they were a San Francisco based or a Silicon Valley based company that was going to uh, revolutionize, uh, well, disrupt really, the world of uh, blood testing. So instead of having to go to the doctor and they run like a little tiny, uh, you know, blood profile on you that, that oh, we don't want to go this way. What am I thinking? We're just out of here. Costs a lot of money and they only test a couple of things. It takes you a week to get a... Uh, a result back, they were like, hey, we're just going to invent a uh, a device where you just put the blood in and it just spits out your profile in like 20 minutes. And then they obviously, like, they, they got multi-billion dollar contracts from pharmacies in the U.S. And they, it turns out it was all a scam. They, they never got the product to work, for one. And their prototypes were literally just like... They would buy their competitors' products that they were trying to make a better version of and then just change the branding <laughs> so that it was it was like inside of a Theranos housing. And then they'd be like, check it out. And then some of them, they were running the blood, like they were doing blood tests at like CVS. And they told people that uh, like we're, we're putting it into the Theranos machine. But then what they were actually doing is like taking the blood and shipping it across the country to California and then just running conventional blood tests on it and then sending the results back. But also the results were wrong. Like it was, it's just terrible. I have to watch that We Work documentary too. Cause like, I mean, it's the same thing, right? Like who, look, I'm kind of like, you know, we're, we're streaming on Twitch right now. Don't get me wrong. Uh, there, there's always things to lampoon in in startup culture, even though I'm also kind of like a part of it. It like only tangentially, but still. Um, but I'm I'm into all of those. It's just crazy, man. Duka 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 duka. Son of a. Yeah, I have HBO. They play documentaries like 24/7. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't understand WeWork. Like, like there's two or three enormous, like, corporate, I think, WeWork buildings in, in Vancouver. So I'm, like, kind of familiar with some of them. Or, like, I, I was sort of watching the, like, the business as it was coming up, and I just didn't get it. So, like, they, they were, like, Airbnb for offices. Like, if you had empty space in your building, you could be, like... Hey, we're gonna turn that into a WeWork like shareable office that people can use. 
But then they started, like, buying buildings and then just renting out the offices as we work. And I was like, that's just, it's just real estate, I think. I, again, I'm kind of, like, ignorant for, like, how the business operates, obviously. But I'm like, I'm pretty sure you just invented, like, like real estate. But I'll, I will also tell you one time, and it wasn't uh, WeWork. It was like, uh, it was some kind of similar deal. But I had to get a uh, an electronic uh, key copied, you know, like something you'd use to buzz yourself into like a, a secure room. In this case, uh, the room that stores my building's garbage. <laughs> Which admittedly, you do want to have locked down. Um, but, uh, when I was in there, like, I, I went to the, the guy's office to get it copied. And I walked in, and there was, like, a meeting room with, like, 12 people having meetings. And then, like, I turned the corner, and there was a little closet. But it was actually, like, a recording booth. And some guy was, like, recording his podcast in there or something. And, like, I, I'm pretty sure I was in, like, a, a WeWork office without knowing it, really. But I was like, you know, this is, this is wild, man. I don't know. I could I could sort of see it, but I do. The, there's only a couple of other things I know about WeWork. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin a uh, you know potential sponsor deal with WeWork at some point. But uh, I do know that they had a huge meeting where they fired a bunch of employees, and then like literally minutes after, they were like, "By the way." run DMC is here and they like came out playing tricky or something like that it's just like <laughs> it's like actually a moment from Silicon Valley the show that's all I got though it's it's a lot like going under right yeah can you imagine cleaning out your desk everybody else is in the conference room it's tricky to Rent an office to rent an office that's not on the traditional property market. It's tricky. We worky, worky, worky. I don't know. They might have just, you know. Who knows, man? They, they, they might have just sang the original song. I have seen Wild Wild Country as well. Also an insane documentary. Netflix has a lot of good ones. Like, I, I think they've lost their touch a little recently with, like, the... Uh, the Cecil Hotel and stuff like that, but Wild Wild Country is incredible. Evil Genius is is insane. I mean, like, you know, now that we're a year removed from it, maybe people aren't as, like, upset. Like, Tiger King is genuinely, like... I mean, it's like a one-of-a-kind work, let's put it that way. Like... And the, a lady gets her arm bit off in the first episode, man. And it only goes up from there. I ha I've seen one of the Fire Festival documentaries. Oh, that's the like if you actually respect yourself, you don't want to watch trash TV. Um, the uh, the staircase is the best for sure. Hello. Staircase is very good. Okay, damage please. Mmm, damage please. Just a, a wafer thin spot of damage please. Speed! I mean, if that were damage, that would be pretty good. HBO's The Jinx. Oh, don't even get me started, but... Here's what I'll say about The Jinx. I don't... I don't... I think The Jinx is very well done. But it's only mildly entertaining. Except for the ending, which is one of the greatest twists in movie history. Which is equally insane, because it's a documentary. Like, the ending to that series is iconic. I'll, base, I'll just spoil it for you, but basically they've been investigating this guy for, like, murders he got off from. Let me rephrase. Murders he was acquitted from uh, in the over the course of his life. And then they really started, like, they, they basically get, like, a smoking gun. Uh, where where they're like, hey, we're pre and he's like a, a super billionaire, like son of a hedge fund owner or something, Melvin Capital, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, 
so they get a smoking gun basically like incontrovertible proof that that he was behind these murders and they summon him because they've been making a documentary about his life over the course of the investigation they summon him to an interview just as like a post-mortem to be like what are you up to now and then they ambush him with the info and he's like you know whatever like see you guys later like he, he's not mad he, he sort of thinks like he got out of it maybe and then he goes to the bathroom with his hot mic still on and he he goes like you know like he's like borderline like crying in the bathroom and stuff like that and he's like why is this happening to me uh oh right because i killed all those people and you're like what <laughs> he just like he just admitted to it at the end basically and that's like you know it, it's it's an all-time great tv moment i've been working on this story for six years and you just tweeted it I, I have seen the imposter as well, sus by the way, sus. But it was a long, long time ago, isn't it? That that's the movie about that French guy that like tricks a couple into thinking that he's their long lost son. Dude, I realize now I've seen a lot of documentaries. <laughs> I didn't realize. You see, Man on Wire, Man on Wire. That's a wonderful movie. By the way, get get ready, cause like. I mean, this is the kind of banter we're going to get on a run where we have no damage. We're going to be talking about this for a long time. I oh, I have watched The Lobster. I, I don't know if I would say The Lobster is one of my favorite movies, but... I was, I was, I think about that movie often and I was enamored with it for, for quite some time. I can fly? What am I doing? Because I bombed them all, of course. Not not a documentary, yes. Although, how weird would that be? But I, no, I have not seen The Killing of a Sacred Deer yet. Kill, did they use that song? Killing of a sacred deer. Killing of a sacred deer. Dunka da dunka now they kill a sacred deer. Dunka da dunka now they kill a sacred deer. Dunka da dunka now they kill a sacred deer. A dunka da dunka now they kill a sacred deer. Those who kill a sacred deer are doomed and cursed by the. I don't know. I, I basically know the premise, but. Books, baby. They're books, baby. Did that hand just grab another hand? What, are you jealous? Quarantine's got everybody feeling isolated. Okay, I mean, I'll always take bad PhD, dude. I got no complaints there. Health down? It would give us a damage up, dude. I'm I'm just the kind of weirdo that's capable of doing that. Like, that doesn't bother me. Let me know when you see that tinted skull, by the way. Oh, uh, don't, don't... Oh, you could give him that one now. That's right. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know. Still can't get in, huh? My kid just said quarantine has got him feeling blessed. Honestly, if your kid tweeted that, they would... Oh, there's the tinted skull. Um, they would be just... They would delete their account within 12 hours. They would be cyberbullied to oblivion. But what I'm going to say is instead, like, you should protect that attitude at all costs. That's, that's a very, like, personality-rich thing for a kid to say. Like, even if your kid was, like, eight... Or, or younger, like, people on Twitter would be ruthless. Well, it must be nice that your dad's uh, in the middle class. I mean, this is the actual, like, the perfect example of a straw man, because this has not happened, but, like, you know. They would, they would actually bully that eight-year-old, I guarantee it. And then when people were like, why are you bullying, bullying an eight-year-old? They'd be like, uh, their dad works from home. So, it's praxis. 
We're gonna get the skull. Everyone just chill out, okay? I'm just exploring the floor first. Just doing a little floor exploration. Let, hold on, let me write your next comment for you. How much do you want to bet that he forgets? Nice little damage upgrade, by the way. Nice little damage upgrade, by the way. I mean, you're not wrong. Working from home is pretty pog. I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Cheers to the new golden age of content. Oh, thank you. A, a toast to the Isaac, to the Isaac, to the Isaac, uh, to, to the king of retail, to the key. Okay, that's, you gotta shove one Hamilton reference into every uh, episode, I guess, but... I have been, I know I talked about this before. I have been kind of like increasingly like, um, maybe I'll just like never go to Twitter again. Like it's not, there, there's not really been like a, a single moment where I was like, hey, we gotta like, you know, like, oh, I'm done with this app. It's just like an, almost like an auditing process where I think to myself, you know, like, okay, I was on Twitter for like 20 minutes today. Like, did that time improve my life or, like, take away from it? And it's, like, almost exclusively a net negative. I see some funny things, but then also, like, my mental state is, like, worse having been on the site, if that makes sense. Like, I see some things that make me laugh, but I only ever leave the site, like, anxious or angry. And I'm starting to... I'm starting to get to the point where I'm like, why would I keep going to this site? <laughs> but don't get me wrong, the funny things are funny. And then I do get some... Uh... I'll take it for now. I guess we should take the, the, the pills. Oh, but then we'd screw up our fool card. Yeah, we'd probably screw up our fool card, so let's not do that. Don't take the baggie yet. We can take it when we leave. I think I will take this too. It did lower our damage, but it raised our rate of fire. I'm not too upset. We can get pills like crazy. You don't know. Welcome. No, it's not like, I mean, people are like, you follow the wrong people. I don't think it's really like that. Like, I, I honestly think it's just like, I think the app intentionally or otherwise realize that the formula to like come on tomo in the box please in the box in the box please my son in the box please the the formula for like max engagement is like anger basically it's not really about who you follow you got to keep in mind you know like i i get tweeted like 500 times a day <laughs> which is not a flex it's actually a curse excuse me and you know don't get me wrong, I, I get people that are like, you know, that's great intel, or like, like I loved your video today or whatever. But also, I mean, it's really like, I'm kind of reaching the point where like the older I get, the more I'm like, I don't want people to have like a, a one way way to contact me. Yo, Tomo, you gotta get in the box, my man, okay. Like, I think that the, uh, Especially, like, the more I've been, like, reading, after I read, like, I feel good. And then I'm like, oh, before bed, maybe I'll just go on Twitter for five minutes. And then it, like, erases that hour of reading. <laughs> I think, honestly, like, I, I don't think I would, like, delete my account, but I have been thinking about deleting the app for sure. There, there is the downside of, like, not uh, being able to, like, you know, send out announcements and stuff like that. But I'm also, like, I, I don't know if I even, like, maybe that's not even that big of a deal. Okay. So we've already left a trinket behind. Is that correct? We, we left one behind. Does it count? Maybe I should leave one behind in the item room, though, just to be sure. Why not? Myostosis? I'm not, I'm not too upset. To, to lose this. But Chib's on Twitter? Yeah, I got I got Chib on uh, on Discord. I, I got a main line. Any 
anywhere on the floor and it would be fine. I mean, it's mostly I'm just, uh, I'm just spitballing. It's not like a super negative thing. It's just been on my mind where I'm like, I mean, let me put it this way. Like, people are like, oh, and you think TikTok is good for you? No, but it's, it's like different, I think. And it's going to come across like a flex, but it's really the opposite. It, I think it's different as like a public figure, you know? Like, on TikTok, I'm predominantly like, and I don't even use the app, honestly, but I'm uh, just consuming content. Whereas, like, on Twitter, I'm like, I'm just kind of like on duty as myself. <laughs> or as my brand. Uh, so it's like the difference between, like, you know, turning on... TikTok for me is like turning on the TV. And Twitter is like actually like sitting down at like a table and being like, all right, come, you know, tell me like your praise or your grievances. And it's just like, you know, grading, basically. I'm, I'm wondering, like, as I get older, I'm wondering more like, as, especially as my time gets more limited, I'm like, does this actually serve me? And I, I don't know if the answer is yes. Okay, we take, we leave. We consider possibly buying some HP before we leave. We consider possibly, you know, a little baggy. I think we should get a little baggy, yeah. I support it. Range down, love it. Range down. Been drinking it for years. The fool? <laughs> I don't think so. It's no longer the fool. Now it's retrovision. Thank you so much for the black card. Yeah, like honestly, I um and we talked about this forever like as it was happening, but like I didn't delete Facebook until like last year. I was always like I know I should, but at the same time, like, oh, how's, like, my grandma gonna uh, talk to me and stuff like that? And then I was just, like, you know, got her phone number. And I deleted Facebook, and, like, it's way better. It just, like, instantly was was removed from my life. <laughs> and was just a positive to begin with. Uh, let me, I'm just gonna try to get to the secret rooms, then we'll get out of here. So I'm kind of, like, in the same boat with Twitter. Like, I've been thinking about it for long enough that I'm, like... Yo, maybe, maybe it's time. Yeah, I like, I, I think Twitter makes a lot of sense. Or it makes more sense. I mean, I, I get how this sounds, by the way. Um, but like, if you're not a public figure, you're just a consumer of Twitter. I think it's a lot easier to tailor your, uh, your experience. But if instead you're, you know, you're you're kind of like a satellite receiver, you know, as a public figure, is like everybody else is like if you have an audience of like a hundred thousand people, and then like 001 percent of them have like serious problems, those end up getting like reflected to you, and it's just annoying. <laughs> like I I know how it sounds. I'm like I'm sorry that like things are messed up for you but also like i have absolutely no part of that whatsoever so if you could just like stop using like the fact that we uh like have have a parasocial relationship as an excuse to dump on me like that would be that would be beautiful i think there's an item in the challenge room yeah i don't think i can get into the the challenge room right like, via the secret room, the door was locked. Yeah, see, Dan's got it all figured out. I mean, I'm sure then... I mean, this is just real, like... See? Boom, 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 boom. Um, this is like, uh... It's check the wire talk, Dan. If you bomb it, it's good? No. Come on. I was born at night, but not last night. Um, I'm sure, like, you, you went through something similar last year with, with uh... Big brother, Dan. Like, that's kind of why I'm surprised that, like, uh, you you have DMs open. I'm not trying to open up a can of worms, but I guess, like, you know, maybe maybe we're just built different in the sense that, like, uh, you know, one, one, like, weirdo DM could, like, 
annoy me greatly. Um, whereas for you, maybe it like rolls off your back a little bit more, but I'm like, I'm just surprised. Ignore the jabronis and pog the normies. I hear you, but, and yeah, I mean, that's the idea, right? But it doesn't always work out that way. Pog the normies. <laughs> Okay, we gotta do the mausoleum. I, I really do want to take this health down. I think we can get away with it. I, I'm just letting it simmer for a bit, just in case like my brain processor decides that it's wrong. But for now, I think it's like, it's right. Anyway, again, this stuff, is, it's not actually, it's not like I had a bad day on Twitter or something like that. Just like one too many days of being like, like 60% of the time I use this app, I'm not enjoying myself. And I'm like, okay, well then why the heck am I using it? Just to pad Jack Dorsey's uh, net worth? We'll see. Anyway, we'll see. Just step on the button. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I mean, it's a very sizable damage up. Evil Eye, hopefully buffed, but... Perhaps not. There's also a tinted rock next to the button. That's good backseating. Thank you, thank you. There is indeed. Your tweets are pog. That's all right. Like, here's the thing. I think it's a false dilemma. I always repeat my incredible jokes on stream anyway. Sometimes, many times. You wouldn't. You wouldn't actually be missing out on anything. I think. Like, a, a joke starts, like, when I'm in bed, and then I, like, use it in an Isaac episode, and then I tweet it, and then I tweet, or uh, then I talk about the tweet in the stream, and then I talk about the reaction to the stream inside of the, the next Isaac episode. Like, it's all a big, like, water wheel that goes, goes around and around. Yo, have you noticed how many views your Twitch VODs have been getting? Uh, I haven't really. I mean, I see them every day. I didn't notice anything that, like, it it blew me away. But I might, I might be misjudging. I guess I am publishing, like, three a day. They add up pretty quick. But, um... Also, you know, we're in that bubble right now where, like, anything Isaac-related is gonna, like, go to the stratosphere. <laughs> Which is why, like, I, I admittedly, there's a little voice in the back of my head that's like, you need to do more variety because of the fact that the, uh, you know, like, I look at my YouTube page and it's like, oh, Isaac, and I'm like, well, yeah, but, like, if there's any time for that to happen, it's like right now where they're doing, like, 4x uh, what every other piece of content does. Oh, like, on, on Twitch proper? Yo, that's pretty amazing. Those, you know, it, it's like wild. It, I think it just goes to show you, like, not maybe not that the grass is always greener, but it, it's very, like, psychologically interesting for me. What the? <laughs> when, when a video gets, like, 50,000 views on YouTube, I'm like, that's pretty good, don't get me wrong. I'm happy with that. But if a video gets, like, 20,000 views on Twitch, I'm like, that's incredible. I'm in the stratosphere now. It's the same, it was funny, like, you know, I, I never got to the point where, like, TikTok is uh, monetized. But, uh, I was trying to get into that, like, TikTok partner program. And I was, like, making, if I could even make, like, $50 off of my, like, 1 million or 2 million view TikTok, that would be, like, worth more to me than, like, a week's pay on Twitch. <laughs> Not because the numbers are bigger, but because of the fact that it's just, like, it's so novel, you know? I'm like, wait, well, I didn't know you could make money doing this. Dunk, dunky, dunky, dunk. Dunky, dunk. That's true, because I feel like um, uh, Twitch videos have to be searched out. They don't get recommended naturally, like, via the algorithm. Like, it's almost more flattering, because people come to Twitch to watch it, I guess, instead of being, like... You know, they just get sucked down the rabbit hole or they fall asleep. Have you looked at the analytics on Leg Breaker recently? It's been getting recommended in my YouTube feed a lot. Yo, I'll check it out. 
Because, like, you guys were bang on about Kukiyomi. Kukiyomi got, like, a... It got a good deal of attention. It kind of slowed down, which is, you know, natural, but... I see Leg Breaker a lot, too. You know what? This is one of my favorite stream segments. Let's go take a look, okay? Leg Breaker. He's got legs. He knows how to break them. I'm looking at the graph. Holy crap! <laughs> the graph is, like, normal... flat. You know, and then it's flat for a year. And then, as of, um... What day is this? As of last Sunday, it goes from flat to straight up. Oh my god. Okay, check this out. Sunday, March 28th, it had a total of 208,558 views. 208,558. That was last Sunday. As of today, April 6th, it is... 291,446. Oh my god. He's gotten like 80,000 views in a week. That's crazy, man. That's like... <laughs> That's that's more than the new videos get in the week they're published by far. That's the thing, like, and it, it, this is again like, uh, it, it's check the wire adjacent, right? But it's like a nice kind of inside baseball, right? Like, I don't think people are upset by that. Um, but every YouTube video, like, it's a lottery ticket, and you never know. I mean, it may never pay off. But it also might pay off completely unexpectedly, like, years down the road. Like, it's it's very weird. But that, honestly, like, I feel like a genius. Because that was, like, the whole... One of the main, like, content slash business reasons for, uh... Northern Lion Tries. Was, like, um... You know, it, all these games, like, you never know which one's gonna... Which ones are gonna pop uh, pop off, and which ones are gonna be uh, a little snoozy? Okay, you cannot leave. That's my mistake. YouTube algorithm is super weird. Yeah, but I'll tell you. You know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna do what I did with Kukiomi and change the title to say like number one platformer of 2000 and 2021. <laughs> there could have been other factors. But uh, when I when I changed Kukiyomi's title, it was like the algorithm was like, no, now you're toasted. It was like the title was doing the work for me or something. No. But that's like, um, first off, one of the reasons I do so much variety on Twitch is like, that I just, I would much rather play 20 different games for an hour each than play one game for 20 hours, with the notable exception of something like this. But then secondarily, you know, you, you get more, and I was telling this to Dan in, in the back channel, you get more lottery tickets uh, on YouTube as well. Like, you never know. You know, if you were going to do like a full playthrough of like what remains of Edith Finch or whatever, like, you know, you, you know, episode 20 is never going to get sucked in. He forgot the key. I actually don't. It's not that I forgot the key, I'm just unaware of the, the mechanic here. So you- oh, whatever you leave behind, you actually have to go back and pick it up. Okay, so we, we'll just go back to the, the downpour or the dross one, and we'll pick up the, uh... We'll pick up the trinket we left behind way back there, if we get a chance. You need to go to the room you left the trinket on. All right. It's good to know. But yeah, like, instead of playing, like, you know, 20 games of the same series, although obviously, like, we do that all the time. Um, or uh, semi-frequently, at least, you know, to play 20 different things, because you never know in, you know, 2024 if maybe somehow Wanted Raccoon is going to become, like, the new hotness, and then, like, a, a new group of egomaniacs, like, find out that you exist. That's why you leave it in the boss room, because that's where you spawn and you can't miss it. Yo, I mean, that's great news, because on the Dross one, we did leave it on the boss room. So I think we're still okay here. Yeah, Dross one, baby. Unless we end up on, on basement one. 
Like, it, you might, because, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm like, the Dross one comes after the basement, so we should be fine. You might be screwed. Oh, what a shot. Because Cracked Key is considered a rune, so Little Baggy might mess it up. Would be, it would be a, a modest annoyance for sure. But we'll see. We'll see. Health down. Little, little spicy, but we're not really using the health anyway. So you know what? Give me the extra damage. Why use it? We got we got anti PhD, so our damage goes up. I would rather at this point I would rather have twelve percent extra damage than uh, one extra red heart. I think that's I think that's an acceptable trade off. Wouldn't it be funny if he died? Uh, if if me dying in this game makes me funny, then I mean honestly, you you just gave me the greatest compliment of all time, because I die all the time in this game. So you just called me the the strongest comedian in Earth's history. Thanks for the compliment. The bean. You have about a 68% win rate. Excuse me, Sir Toasty, any any number that shows up in chat, we need to have a repeating, of course, after it. Sixty-eight percent repeating, of course. I think it did screw it up. Because we're we're on the uh, the downpour. And we we got uh, We got a pill instead of the key. That's that's heavy uh, I'm upset energy. You know what? Now we know. That, look, I'm not going to promise we're never going to make that mistake again. <laughs> All I'm going to say is, uh, I think that's at least the kind of mistake where you can be like, you know what, that's pretty reasonable. So you don't just get the item that we need by sleeping in the bed and then opening the, the chest. Only the first time? That's only the first time. Oh, man. Maybe we'll just get lucky, because it's a random item, right? Like, what if it, it's just the item we need? <laughs> just believe. As long as we believe, there's nothing to fear. One in 700 chance. You love to see it. Okay, good to know, though, for the future. What the heck is this, by the way? <laughs> I can't believe I'm excited. It's still active. It's like a 1 in 13 chance. It's not that bad. Dude, I think we're going to do it. We'll probably die to the first version of the boss, but still. Give it a try, anyway. Clip farm it. The dad saying I'm sorry gives me chills. Your music saved me. Okay, we're good. Getting too cocky and taking unneeded damage. Bro, it's just it's just hard. It's just it's just tough. <laughs> It's not an easy game here. It's not a... I, I don't think it's like a mental state issue. I think it's a... Uh, it's just a... It's a difficult task. F. Mom's wig. Um... Alright, well, well, we'll try to kill Static Electric Boss, but we're... Uh, we're probably toasted. Dude, I wonder if, we, if we'd gotten our health all the way to zero. Oh. I, that's tough to dodge, man. If we'd gotten our health all the way to zero, I wonder if we could have slept in both beds and gotten, like, six spirit hearts out of it. 
Godhead tears? Mommy? This really, like, drives it home how strong we were when we came through here for the first time. Like, when people were like, if NL does this first try, he's a legend, I was like, it's not even hard. I've been back here a couple times, spoilers, and uh, <laughs> I'm like, now I'm like, okay, I understand why people were like, it's so impressive that you did it the first try. That was close, though. That was a good run. We, we can try again. We can try another Eden run there. Slash marker, first attempt over. And then we're, gonna, we're not going to put that in until I hydrate, because it makes it easier to splice.